moving. <laughs> so um, anyway, I, as you all know, I'm moving. Uh, today I had the movers come, move all my belongings out. Uh, me and the kids are here overnight and uh, cleaning tomorrow. Then we're off to the new house uh, tomorrow afternoon and all of our stuff, belongings, furniture and stuff will show up Wednesday morning. So um, today's Monday. I'm very, very tired, but I was going to record the moving process and then I thought, no, I'm not going to because I just had so much going on. And if you can imagine having a three bedroom home with a big backyard, three kids, you accumulate a lot of stuff over the years and I just didn't have time. There's Bessie. So anyway, I thought I would treat you guys to a spirit box session and a bit of an investigation in this house before I actually leave it tomorrow. Um, as you all know, I've had a lot of experiences here. Uh, Clara has also been living here with me um, over the past however many months it has been. Uh, so in my room alone, which is where I am now, I have had numerous uh, spirits that I have seen in here. Um, now one of them appeared very clearly to me and a lot of others have just been shadows and I have seen a small girl, I would say to the age of between eight and 10 years old. I've also seen a shadow man and I don't think it's like the shadow man that they talk about with the hat, it's just a shadow of a male. Um, interestingly enough, since this moving process has begun, my daughter has seen a shadow figure in the lounge room about a week, week and a half ago, and she thought it was me walking through the lounge room door. I was up the other end of the house, and she called out to me, and so I went down to see what she wanted, and she looked at me strangely because she thought I walked in the lounge room that way, but I was up the other end. And then today while we were moving, she said that um, my bedroom had been pulled apart and I had my mattress and bed up against the wall and she walked past the door and she saw a shadow figure going through my mattress. So that was interesting. So I'm gonna get set up here guys and we're gonna do a spirit box session in my room and see what we can get. And I might even do flip out the EVP recorder and see if we can get any voices on that. Sorry for the ramble, but let's get going. Hello everyone. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna turn on the spirit box. We're just gonna get straight into it. First of all, I will um, say welcome to any spirits who are here with me and any spirits who are listening. Uh, I am opening this session so that I can communicate with anybody that is here in this home or around this home that would like to come and communicate with me. You can speak to me through this device which is a spirit box and I will be able to hear you talk to me. When I say goodbye that means the session is over and you must go back to where you came from and that light's flickering. Okay, thank you for letting me know you're here. When I say goodbye, you must go every time I say that. When I say goodbye, you must go back to where you come from and you cannot attach yourself to me or follow me to my new home. You must stay here. Anything negative is not welcome here. You must stay away. Okay, here we go guys, let's get this all set up, this had three, three bars of battery and now it's only got one. Okay, let's see if this sounds right. Oh, the cord plays up. I'm fine. This is 
anyone here with us? Can you come through and give us your name, please? The display on my spirit box is not even working. The batteries were just drained on my spirit box. I had three bars of battery, I just changed them. Charlotte saw me and it's like, I didn't, couldn't even get a display, it was drained. It wasn't even sweeping. Somebody wants to talk to us. I've just gotta go and get some more batteries, guys. See, full battery. Okay. I'm gonna turn this on now and then I'll move back just so I can see what I'm doing. Turn the volume up, um, put it in reverse. Sweep rate 150, let's go. What is the name 
of the male spirit my daughter saw today. I keep hearing Enon, but that's a girl. Good girl. Yes. Are you my guy? not allowed to answer that question. Are you Charlotte's guy? Who is Enid? Have you been watching me move? Is Enid a ghost? on this on for a second see if it captures anything hopefully my bird out there doesn't make too much noise I would like to invite any spirits that are here to show themselves and you can also um, make some spirit orbs if you are able to do so and perhaps circle around me so that we know that it's you that's showing yourself thank you so much I 
Hello, you still here with us? to know one thing I was thinking of doing once I move into my new house setting up my desk area and things like that and I really wanted to start doing live sessions once a week where I turn the spirit box on and you guys can come in and talk to your loved ones and get them to come through the box I know that there were other youtubers that used to do this and it was quite popular and they stopped doing it for whatever reason so i would like to in part continue on that legacy so let me know whether that's a good idea and if you would like for me to do that so that you can come along and, and talk to loved ones that you've lost anyway thank you so much for watching this little experiment this little video thank you to charlotte who assisted me this evening and until next time guys Stay safe, keep loving what you're doing, believe. Uh -huh.